Robert Sarver has been suspended for one year and fined $10 million. And two hours ago, the NBA announced the findings of a nearly year-long independent investigation into Sarver's workplace conduct. The law firm that the league hired found that Sarver, quote, used racially insensitive language, treated female employees unequally, made sex-related statements, and treated employees harshly, even bullying them at times. And there is a litany of incidents portraying this behavior, including Sarver forwarding emails to some male leaders with photos, quote, of nude women and a video of two people having sex. And separately, commenting on a female employee's breast augmentation, saying, quote, did you get an upgrade this summer? And before we dive into Sarver's behavior, I do want to remind you all at home of exactly how we got here. So the league's investigation, it was prompted by reporting from ESPN's Baxter Homes that was in November of 2021 and in it 70 current and former Suns employees they alleged racism misogyny and a toxic work environment under Sarver's stewardship and up until his statement today which we will share with you in just a moment Sarver and the team have continuously denied almost all of these allegations so here's a look at the terms of Sarver's one-year suspension he can't be present at any NBA or W NBA team facility and he can't participate in any NBA or WNBA event or activity or represent his teams in any way. Sarver also cannot be involved in any business or basketball operations decisions for the Suns or for the Mercury and he was fined $10 million. As I mentioned, that is the maximum allowed by the NBA bylaws. Here is an excerpt from the statement from Robert Sarver in which he writes, while I, quote, disagree with some of the particulars of the NBA's report, I would like to apologize for my words and actions that offended our employees. I take full responsibility for what I have done. I am sorry for causing this pain, and these errors in judgment are not consistent with my personal philosophy or my values. So for more here, I do want to welcome in our senior NBA insider, Adrian Wojnarowski. You've been reporting on this investigation throughout the year. Why, Woj, did the NBA decide on this specific punishment? Well, Malika, the, the $10 million is the max, uh, the maximum the league could find uh, Robert Sarver. But, but more importantly was uh, the, the length of suspension and whether it would be more than a suspension, whether they would uh, suspend him, ban him for life, as they did with Donald Sterling, and mm. then move... Uh, and then at that point, move to uh, try to get a three-quarters vote of the league's owners uh, to force him to sell. And the league didn't go that far. A one-year suspension, uh, but he can be back running this team, certainly. Uh, at the end of that, and Malika, there are many people around the league today who feel like Robert Sarver is very fortunate that he only has a one-year suspension, um, that he has not uh, lost control of this team, and this is not headed for a vote among his peers uh, to force him out. So we just heard or saw rather part of Robert Sarver and the Phoenix Suns statement that they released just hours ago. What are you hearing though, Woj, about Robert Sarver's reaction to his suspension and the $10 million fine? And Malika, it's, it's not surprising that the word disagree appeared in the statement before uh, an apology did. And uh, Baxter Holmes and I had been told that really throughout uh, once the findings of this report had been returned and Robert Sarver and the league saw the overwhelming amount of evidence of his behavior, uh, both toward women, uh, toward African-Americans in his organization, uh, toward virtually anyone he came in contact with there, uh, that he still resisted the idea that he would be suspended for a year. Uh, I think the league wanted him to voluntarily step away, that they could work together uh, on a punishment, and I'm told, you know, that Robert Sarver throughout the process uh, w was very difficult about that, that it became acrimonious, uh, and it certainly speaks to what has gone on for years in Phoenix, not just since Baxter's story, not just since this investigation. Uh, people told Robert Sarver long before the NBA did today uh, to stop doing what he was doing, to stop mm. talking uh, to uh, employees uh, and players, coaches, 
uh, executives the way he did, yet he continued to do so. And now you see, you know, a full picture, uh, you know, uh, that, that certainly mirrors in this report uh, Baxter Holmes' story uh, that led the NBA to commission uh, this report. Well, and the full story, the full picture that is painted in this report is certainly damning. You mentioned, Woj, that folks around the league, they seem to be somewhat surprised or think that uh, Robert Sarver should feel lucky that he is only suspended for one year. Could this be the first domino in Robert Sarver possibly selling the Phoenix Suns? Malika, Robert Sarver has certainly had a lot of offers from people uh, to, to sell that team. He is... Um, resisted that. He's wanted to continue to own the Suns. And, and understand this, you know, he doesn't have allies around the NBA, not with his uh, peers, other owners. He doesn't have really close friends uh, among other owners. He has not been a favorite of the league office long before even uh, Baxter Holmes' story. Uh, I think in a perfect world, I think Robert Sarver would have sold uh, the Suns long ago uh, for both his, uh, how his uh, fellow owners feel about him hmm. and how the league office feels about him. But getting a three-quarter vote of league owners, uh, the, of the board of governors, uh, to force an owner to sell is difficult. Even if they condemn what Robert Sarver has said, even if they don't like him personally, don't like how he does business, how he represents the league, you know, there's certainly, uh, and I think Mark Cuban talked about this back with Donald Sterling, the slippery slope of uh, of other owners feeling like they become targets uh, to lose their teams, maybe not in similar circumstances or having done, done or said the things Robert Sarver said, said uh, but the feeling like that they've all become vulnerable at that point. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.